Hi YouTube, so I am here with another unboxing, of course. This time my unboxing is a tad bit different. This is not a Louis Vuitton unboxing. This one is my first Tory Burch purchase. So the item comes in this huge box right here. It's a very big box. <laughs> So I'm going to unbox this on camera so you won't see my face. So if you're interested in this unboxing, then please stay tuned. It's such a huge box and package that I really don't know how to get something as large as this in the frame, but I tried. So it comes with the air papers on top of the packaging. And then it comes with a card uh, looks like it's just a regular gift type card and it is it says enjoy your bag that's all that I had put in the card just says enjoy your bag so just in case I decide you know this is not a forever bag I can always resell it and use this bag that's kind of what I always do with my thank you cards and this is a uh, not really sure what this is. Tory Burch Foundation. I guess where you can pledge to the foundation, give money to the foundation. Uh, another card, or uh, this is the receipt folder. It's just a regular paper stock type of envelope. And it has my online receipt from when I made my purchase. And then here is a thank you card. Right here, and it has the Tory Burch uh, sticker emblem that holds this thank you card on, and it holds the bag closed. So I'll remove that. Very nice packaging. I love the orange. And here, the Tory Burch. Uh, I don't even. It looks like wrapping paper. So this is the wrapping paper surrounding the item. I won't take that off. Actually, I'll put the card back. Cause it looks like it just slides right out so i'll put that card back and i will take this out of the box so i can get it in a better frame large and it's wrapped in this orange wrapping paper kind of slide that off toss that to the side and here is the packaging it's beautiful i love that Uh, I'm not sure. So it's got just a little Velcro type of tab to close that. So let me open that up. And again, sorry if I'm out of frame. It's so large. To reveal... This is wrapped in, wrapped in plastic. This must have come from the warehouse or something. Just open this. All right, you guys, it is so much wrapping with this bag. I'm not even sure really how to get it off. Uh, but this is the bag. This is the Tory Burch McGraw tote bag. Um, so some years ago, maybe a year, I wanted to get the Tory Burch Perry tote and they had sold out of them. And the color that I wanted was very close to this color. I saw a fellow YouTuber had that bag and I wanted that exact color in the bag because it was very spring-like. And so what I did was I tried to find it, I couldn't, and so I opted not to look for it anymore. Then when I saw this bag on the website, I was going to buy it, and I waited until they had a sale to get it. And sorry about the papers, I'm just taking out the papers on the inside so you can see the inside. It's a dark, it's a navy interior, and this color is called, uh, what is this called? 
seltzer seltzer it's like a really pale blue really pale pastel type blue and the inside is a navy it's just one open tote and then it has this pocket right here like a little slip pocket it's not very large it's large enough to fit an iPad mini so if you have an iPad mini or like a tablet 8 like a Samsung tab 8 it's large enough to fit that large enough to fit the agenda MM if you have one of those so let me see if I can get this foam off the handles all right so here's the bag fully unwrapped except for the tassels I'll get that later it's a it's a beautiful bag and the drop handle on this is fantastic this is gonna fit real comfortable under my arms it has a drop like the GM never full but it's about the size of the MM never full except I don't know it it might be about the size of the MM Never Full. I think it is. I think when I did the measurement comparison to the MM Never Full and this bag, they were the same size, but the drop handle seems more comfortable on my arm because the MM Never Full drop handle does not seem comfortable on my arm. But this is the bag. I don't want to make this video too long. If you have any questions about this particular bag, it is still on sale for 40% off. Uh, for their summer sale, I paid with an additional 10% off. I paid $268 for this bag. So I got 50% uh, off on this bag. So you might want to jump on it while they still have some. They come in a variety of colors. They are starting to put their fall colors out. So the spring colors are kind of limited. They do have like a quartz pink color, which I was tempted to buy but because I have a Ralph Lauren pink tote I did not get it so let me show you all what my pink tote looks like so you can have an idea of why. Alright so this is my pink Ralph Lauren tote and it's very comparable to the Tory Burch in size they're actually like the same size the opening you can see that the opening is fairly the same. The Ralph Lauren's a bit wider uh, or a bit longer in length, not by much, maybe about an inch. It's like a half an inch on each side compared to where the handle is. The handle drop is the same, which I love, and the depth is the same. You can see that. So I like these bags here. I can carry my laptop in this bag comfortably. This bag has a zipper. This bag reminds me of the Epi leather bag. So that's why I've never bought the uh, Never Full of the Epi leather because this material reminds me so much of the Epi leather. And I love this bag. And this is the reason why I didn't buy the Tory Burch bag and the pink because I already have this bag in the pink. So if you have any questions about my Tory Burch bag or even my Ralph Lauren bag, uh, let me know in the description box and I will see you in the next video. Alrighty, bye.